Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how every trap beat is made. Now, I don't wanna generalize trap music or trap beats, but the other day I was driving in my car listening to Shade 45, and they had this playlist happening, it was all trap music, and in my opinion, they all sounded pretty much the same. I was driving for about 30 minutes, and all the tracks sounded the same. It sort of sparked an idea in my head to create a video on how every trap beat is basically made in my opinion. Again, I don't want to generalize things, there are differences here and there, but for the most part, they all have the same groove and vibe. So let's get straight to it. First thing you want to do is set your tempo to a nice fast one, and we're going to set it to 150 beats per minute. And we're going to start off with our hi-hats because the hi-hats are extremely important in trap music, and it kind of gives you that sort of that vibe that you're going for. Let's go ahead and create a four bar region, and we're going to go in and draw in those hi-hats. Make sure my brush tool is selected. We're gonna start with eighth notes and let's go ahead and just paint those in. So some trap producers just put that in and call it a day, but let's go ahead and spice things up a little bit. We'll do a couple stutters here and there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just randomly put stutters in. And you'll put another stutter over here. Let's put another stutter over here. And we'll put another stutter to end off this pattern. All right, so now that we have our hi-hats, let's go over to our kick. We're gonna create another four bar pattern. And we're gonna go ahead and draw in our kick pattern. Now the kick is extremely important as well because it gives you that bounce that you want in sort of mumble rap trap music. So here we go. So right there, we got that balance that we're looking for in this genre of music. All right, so let's go ahead over to our 808 track. Now we are using Logic's ES2 plugin, and we're using the popular 808 preset that we like to use on this channel. So let's go ahead and just create a four bar pattern. And this 808 is essentially gonna follow the kick pattern. Actually, we can even keep it simpler and just copy this down. And we're just gonna stretch out our 808s. Maybe not this last one over here because we want this one to be stretched out. And then we're gonna get a little bit fancy here and we're gonna pitch up or put in another note here to get a nice slide or 808 glide right there at the end of our loop. All right, so let's go ahead over to our snare track and put in some snares because what's a trap beat without some snares? Uh, let's just go find that snare. All right, so we're gonna use that one right there. All right. Now we're starting to feel that vibe that we're going for. Let's go ahead and draw in a clap. Once again, a four bar pattern. And uh, let's go ahead and find where this guy is here. We're essentially just gonna put it right under our snare sound. So that clap is meant to layer up that snare. So every time it hits on the three, you get a little bit of a different sound as opposed to those ghost notes over here. So there's a clap, ghost note, clap. All right, next let's go ahead and draw in our open hat as this once again is pivotal to that sort of bounce and groove vibe that we're going for. All 
All right, next what we gotta do is add in another bass and we're gonna use that classic Drake Mo bass right here. And for that sound, we're using Logic's ES2 synthesizer. If you wanna learn how to make this Mo bass from scratch, you can click the card in the top right hand corner of this video. But for now, let's go ahead and just draw in one single sustain note that creates tension in the track. And we're just gonna draw it in right here. And we're just gonna sustain that for the entire looped pattern. It just gives you that subtle tension that something's about to happen. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and round this up with a bell sound. What is trap music without those bells? You gotta have those bells no matter what kind of trap producer you are. So let's go ahead and draw in a four bar pattern. The plugin that we'll be using for our bell sound is Logic's stock plugin uh, called Sculpture. They have some cool bell sounds that work well for trap music. Uh, all I did was add in some reverb and put in a filter to filter out some of the high notes. So let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. Again, with trap music, the bell patterns are usually fairly simple. And um, we're gonna go to a higher octave here. And let's draw that in. So first we'll pull out our progression. And we're just gonna duplicate that. And now we're gonna put in that pattern. So here we go. All right, we'll just duplicate that once again. The patterns are always kept super simple. And here's the full pattern. So that's pretty much the beat right here. But if I go ahead and just bring in some vocals, that's really what's gonna bring out this track. Now, I'm gonna solo out my vocals right now. And I said this before, my vocals are not the greatest by no means or any stretch of the imagination, but um, you can just add in some like mumble stuff and it'll make it sound cool. So over here, I just mumbled some stuff. All right, so that's one part. Then here I added my rapper name. In this case, I just took 21 Savage and just repeated 21, 21. 21, 21, 21, 21. And over here, I just did that classic sound that you hear in a lot of rap music. It's sort of, they do a lot of effects with their mouth, and this is what I did right here. And over here, I did that skirt skirt that you hear in almost every single track. And for this last vocal ad-lib, I just added in sort of a Quavo, sort of Migos type of ad-lib. Sort of like that ooh sound that they always put in there. So if we bring all that together, it sounds like this. So it sounds like really like, just like I'm mumbling some stuff there, but if I bring it in with the track, it makes it sound cool.
right, so that is, in my opinion, how a lot of trap music is made. Now you can take this tutorial for what it is, you can apply it to your own beats, but uh, I myself produce trap music and I do fall into this category as well. I'm, I'm not laughing at anyone or not pointing fingers at anyone. I mean, I love this type of music and I make this type of music myself, but I just wanted to put a tutorial together to kind of give you an idea of what is needed to make sort of a trap mumble rap type beat that you hear today. So for your Logic users out there, I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you guys and place that as a downloadable link in the description box below. So you can kind of open this up and maybe rap to this yourself to take out my crappy vocals and insert your own. Uh, for your non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm gonna go ahead and export all these MIDI stems right here so you got yourself a foundation to a trap beat. I'm also gonna include the drum kit as well because all the sounds here work well with trap, mumble rap type music. You can also find that play pack in the description box below this video. That's it for me guys. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. For more good videos like this one, remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.